Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, so I activated the light root that was above the Master Koga fight that we just did. And um, there was a, um, a construct down here who was, like, doing some some smelting. Yeah, I think he's making some stuff. Melting and smelting. <laughs> smelter construct. Distant relative of the smelter demon. <laughs> Dark Souls 2? Auth authorized verified blah 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 <clears throat> um i'm probably just gonna skip through this he processes zonite here into other materials yeah I go on <clears throat> yeah he can make crystallized charges and stuff i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. yeah yeah we've already talked to a few of these i'm pretty sure yeah there was one that we did like way early on all right thanks I want you to process them into crystallized charges. <laughs> oh, wait, no, if not just one. Here, give me three. <laughs> there. Do it. Nice. Um, and I think that he only has, like, a limited amount. In our personal file, we haven't found all of the stuff for the energy cell. I think we only have, like, three or four. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if he can, like, make more or if there's, like, someone who can just, like, make as much as they want. Because we found, like, three or four of these dudes. And, like, after we bought all of these up, they were just out. Yeah. And so we were like, oh, okay. Cool. Um, we're gonna start working towards the end game now. Um, I know that we said we were probably gonna do some more side stuff, but, like, um, uh, we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing this game for three months, and we've been playing Persona 5 Royal for, like, almost a year now, and we're like, we want to switch it up, do yeah. some short stuff. We'll play some new stuff. Yeah. Or there's, some old stuff, yeah, but it's, like like it's going to be new for us. <laughs> yeah, there's like a bunch of uh, short games that we have that wouldn't take nearly as long as these ones Yeah, have. we're thinking of doing a lot of like the old retro... Um, ugh, sorry, fly in my face. Um, retro like Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart games and mm -hmm. stuff. And like, you know, just doing like two or three episodes for each of those. And we were talking about either doing Super Mario World or Super Mario 64. Yeah. And also I want to do a run of um, Super Metroid at some point. Because I could probably do that in, like, five episodes. Yeah. If they were each, like, a half hour. <laughs> um, Pura. Donde. Probably up here. Yeah. Do you mind voicing her? I'm going to take a sip of water. Well, did you find anything out about the fifth sage? Blah, blah, blah. What? You found the sage of spirit? M Miniru? <laughs> this is incredible. That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. I can't believe this is actually one of the sages who faced off against the Demon King alongside Princess Zelda. And now we have news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So, in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand, trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did so much all on her own. Hmm... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the Master Sword was restored, you say? Yeah, I got it right here. When were you planning on telling me? <laughs> <laughs> and it was found on the head of a white dragon of all places. That's hard to believe. However, this was Princess Zelda's wish. One she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through for us. Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, you really don't like... You really don't look quite yourself unless you've got the Master Sword at your, so at your side. <laughs> <laughs> now then, it seems you have all you need. You're prepared to face your enemy. Yeah, it's early in the morning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Crisis of Hyrule Castle. Yeah, we're still kind of groggy, but we were like, this is the time. It's supposed yeah. to like thunderstorm today. But yeah, so. they're calling for like tornadoes and hail and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, so we're like, let's record <laughs> quick. <laughs> we need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. <laughs> It seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. I can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean huh? that's it, the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability that he's in the depths? Yeah. Do what you think <laughs> best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Joshua for any info. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help yeah. out. Link, the rest is up to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to the depths. 
Gotta talk to Joshua. Hey, Joshua. <clears throat> Hi, swordsman. Listen to this. I received new info about the depths. We've discovered more statues in Lanayru to the east. That region has many chasms. You'll find these statues at the bottom of two of them. One is on land in the Lanayru wetlands. The other is north of Kakariko Village. All of these statues have a strong resemblance to the Zora, and these seem to lead toward the east. Given the first statues we investigated helped guide you to a destination, I think these statues are probably guides to somewhere too. God, I'm so motivated right now. I'll keep gathering info about the depths so that I can be useful to you, swordsman. Check back later, okay? At this rate, I bet you it's just a matter of time before we find a clue about Princess Zelda. That was not helpful at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, yeah, let's just... Uh, how many can I get? Oh, whoa. <laughs> so we're not going to do it on this channel, but uh, this statue that we're trading with, there's like seven or eight of them total in the game. And uh, most of them, I think all of them actually, are like scattered throughout the depths. And uh, if you find, I think, like, almost all of them, you can buy a whole bunch of different stuff from them. And uh, there's a set of armor that you can get that's gloom-resistant. Mm -hmm. I don't this think... This isn't it. Nah, that's not the one. I think we have to find at least two of them before one piece is available. So, yeah, we don't <laughs> really want to do that on camera because, like, I don't have any idea where they are, and that would take forever. And also, it's not the most interesting yeah. to watch us wandering around the depths in the darkness being like, where am yeah. I? Where am I going? And also, <laughs> I think it's kind of lame that you have to find almost all of the statues before you finally get the armor that's gloom resistant. It's like, hey, sweet. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gloom resistant after wandering all throughout the depths. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of how, like, a lot of the, the game works, though. It's like, hey, wander through, like, the harsh heat and the harsh cold, you know, and then, like, after being, you know, in there for 15, 20 minutes, then you can get the armor. Yeah. Unless you're like us and you're a dummy and don't <laughs> realize that the armor is available from the start of right. the Rito Village. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so funny watching this back, like, a year from now. That mm -hmm. that bit, and then also, like, us gluing the freaking charges to the devices. Yeah, like, that was just so, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Because, like, we weren't, you know, using a guide or anything. The game, like, we, we started playing it the day it came out. Yeah. So, like, you know, we, and we're kind of dumb. So, <laughs> maybe we skipped, like, a part where, you know, the dude explained it. But I understood it as, like, oh, they're drawing power from the charges. Not that, like, oh, the charges refill this little thing on our belt. Yeah, I didn't realize that, uh, like, the little battery meter it was showing was going down, like, any time we hit something. Mm hmm Yeah, but now we know. Mm-hmm. Um, so do we go into the chasm? It's not here, right? It's, we go into the one that's down here-ish? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't really remember either. Geosyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we don't even need gloom-resistant armor as long as we have Minoru. Yeah. We can just ride on our back. But, uh... I think there was one time in our personal file when we tried fighting those hands and I tried climbing on her back and they just grabbed me and threw me <laughs> off. Yeah, those hands suck. Yeah, I hate them things. Um, so I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have, like, a ton of food. Um, by type... Shit, yeah. we only have one iron shroom. <laughs> so, um, today we're recording, like, this episode and the next one, so what we'll probably do is we'll spend some time exploring this, um, like, today and in this next episode that we're gonna do right after. And then in between recording sessions, we can go and, like, maybe do some, like, upgrade and stuff and find yeah. some food. Finding food, at least. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we honestly could probably beat Ganon at this level, uh, like, where we are now, but, uh... Without uh, some food, it's going to be a little tricky. Yeah, the food really, really helps in yeah. this game. The defense boost and attack boost food are great. Back to the depths. You know, I really do enjoy the final boss in this game. Like, uh, But I am not a fan of the depths, just in general. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but it's like, if the whole game was like this, I wouldn't play it. <laughs> Yeah, the final boss fight's pretty fun, mm -hmm. but I feel like if we didn't use food, we probably would have got wrecked. Yeah, we're gonna get smeared across the wall if we don't <laughs> get food. Is this a statue? No, this is like a weapon thing. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Tulin's trying to blow. <laughs> um, 
Hmm. Ah, I'll toss this. Cool. Yeah, I don't think we have to do all of the Master Koga stuff before. Because I don't think we did in our file. I think we, like, beat the final boss and then we were like, oh, let's go do some extra stuff and then we did all of the Koga thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but I do remember it's kind of a pain getting into this. Here, let me put on the climbing set, too. Oh, I... Do you think I'll even be able to scale that? Yeah, I don't think so. God dang it. <laughs> I'll go around. Yeah. I'm also trying to keep an eye out for any light roots. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's early, but my mouth is so dry. I'm glad that like we don't have to do a bunch of uh, character dialogue right now because I'd be <laughs> I would be tripping on my words just because my mouth is so dry. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just because I've only had like half a bottle of water so far. Mm-hmm. Ow. <clears throat> Screw off. Yeah, all I've had to eat this morning is a big bowl of dust. A <laughs> big bowl of <laughs> dust. <laughs> uh, oh shit. What? Damn, what? Okay, Down sorry. Here. I was like tripping out for a second. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck just happened? Okay. Light root. Why didn't I mark it? Oh, there it is. Just Looks in case like it some... gets obscured by something else. Some Blake keys are coming this way. Or oh, boy. Not, but... <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I should have thrown another one. Yeah, this game is really great, though. I've had a really great time playing it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Can't recommend it enough. <laughs> there have been a lot of puzzles that are, like, really complicated, though, and took us a minute to figure out. Yeah, and then we learned the ultimate cheese strategy of <laughs> lift a flat object up, drop it, recall ascend. <laughs> Boom, yeah. you win the game. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Light up my life. Cool. Yeah, and there's like 120 of these, too. We haven't done all of them on our uh, personal playthrough. There's no way we are doing it in no. this playthrough. <laughs> there's just too many of them. There's too many. Just... It's too, too many. Yeah, I, um... I was watching some of Super Butterbun's uh, playthrough of this. And, um... Of only, like, a little bit. I think I watched, like, an hour of her first part. Um, but she, uh... She was doing, like, the story only. And she starts up the first video and she has, like, a full stealth set. And, like, 20-something <laughs> like, hearts and, like, all of the depths are, like, already mapped out. And I was like, what the frick? Part one! <laughs> and uh, she was like, yeah, I already beat, like, the, the Rito thing. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was the Rito thing. It might have been something else. Um, but I was like, damn, girl. I was, like, starting off with, like, all of the, the, um, depths explored, and then, you know, it just, it made me curious, you know, I was talking about it a few episodes back about, like, I wonder how people felt, you know, if they encountered the bosses down here first, and mm -hmm. then went to the temples, because, like, I could watch all of her, her things, they're, like, really long videos, they're, like, four or five hours a piece, so it's, like, you know, a huge time sink, um, but, uh, like, I wonder how she felt about those, mm -hmm. you know, because, based, whoa, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shoot. You might have hit a bomb flower or I probably something. did. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, she would be, you know, exactly the, the type of person I'm talking about. Someone who probably encountered all of the bosses down here first mm -hmm. and then saw them in the temple. So it would be nice to see her reaction. Because <laughs> that was, like, one of my... I wouldn't even say it's a complaint, but, like, a concern with the game. You know, like, yeah. if you put all of, like, the cool boss fights in a side area and then people find them first, it might take away from, like, the impact of finding them for real yeah. in the dungeons later. Yeah. I'm not even heading towards the thing anymore. I'm just going <laughs> towards the light route. It says it's over there. 
Yeah, I don't know if you would find the boss from like the Rito temple. Yeah, I don't know if he down, would be here, down here or like the boss Gibdo or Queen Gibdo. Yeah. Um. But we we found Mukdarok and um, Armored Goma. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like there is a possibility that the other two could be down here. Yeah. yeah. If the one from Rito Village was down here, that'd be really surprising because that one's like huge. Yeah, it would have to be like <laughs> over a huge chasm or something. I don't know if they would. I feel like out of all of the bosses, that would be like the least likely, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like Queen Gibda, they could probably just put him on a huge arena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just put a bunch of those Gibda trees around it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Question mark. Yeah, some enemies. They hear me. <laughs> yeah, and we'll keep wandering the depths like this episode and the next one if we, you know, can't get to <laughs> get to where Ganon is, and then you know, in between, we'll look up where to go if mm -hmm. we can't find it in the next one, and we'll you know, try and find some food and stuff in between recording sessions. We might like upgrade the climbing gear at least to level two, but we'd have to go. Uh, electric keys hunting, which is kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. I feel like there were more of them down here. Like, in our personal farm when we were playing, I feel like we found a bunch of them down in the depths, but, like, up on land, they were scarce. Yeah. <clears throat> were those, uh, skeleton bogoblins on skeleton horses? They might have been. They looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> How far away is it? Oh. Oh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that even... That's Destroy Ganon, yeah. Find Princess Zelda. Oh, wait, yeah, no, that one is um tied to, like, the thing. Well, yeah. Is the Destroy Ganondorf thing above ground? Is it? It looks like it is. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Joshua though? I, I couldn't even tell. It was, because it's right next to the <clears throat> Bargainer statue, and she's saying, like, go to the east. She wants us to go after Koga. Uh. I don't want to go after Koga. <laughs> <laughs> do we, do we like, have to do the whole Koga thing before we fight Ganon? I don't remember. So, there is a thing, like, spoilers, whatever. Um, Koga is, like, when you get near the end, he's talking about, like, how he's working for the ultimate weapon for Ganon. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe we do have to go fight him before, but I could have sworn that in our personal playthrough, we did. Yeah, I don't remember. Ooh, now that map is freaking but set to the... Yeah. We definitely did chase after Koga before we fought Ganon, so we can't really say for sure. We did at least once, mm -hmm. but I don't know if we did all four times. Yeah, there. I can't remember. <laughs> what the frick? God dang it. <laughs> The castle's up here. Yeah, so wait, let me just put a pin here and start heading that way. There's not a river separating uh, those areas or uh, above. Um, oh, well, there, there's this whole, you know. Yeah, they're, we're probably going to have to go into the chasm in the castle. Yeah, I can't remember for sure. Um, I'll just head that way, and then in the next one, <laughs> we'll, we'll look it up in between episodes, just yeah. so that we're not wandering the entire time. <laughs> Take a sip of water. Yeah, anytime there's a body of water, there's usually a huge wall underground. Yeah, which is weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's weird that the gloom and the, the blight are both this, like, weird purplish red. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be Ganon's favorite color? Yes. <laughs> Purple is my favorite color. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a slow edit of that video where he's like, Purple is my favorite color. Wait, and just like merges into Ganon. What video was from, that? From uh, Pretty Patty's The Spongebob episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that one purple? <laughs> Like before that, he's like, that thing's green. Yeah. <laughs> green! He's just like laughing about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then he whoops out a purple one and he like loses his hey, shit over it. that thing's purple! <laughs> purple is my favorite color. Yeah, I think I do need to go through the... God dang it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, if we do have to do all that Koga stuff, did you want to just do it off camera? Or um, yeah, shape? we can. We can do it off camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we could do a longer recording session next time, especially because it's, it's not too terribly dark outside, but it is overcast. So yeah. I feel like it could start rumbling you know, anytime. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to storm until later on, so hopefully we should be good. Yeah. I just hope we don't lose power. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hate when that happens. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's like for hours. And yeah. it's like awesome. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love sitting in the dark. Mm -hmm. I gotta charge my 3DS first. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I should do that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you could uh, just keep the Switch uh, docked yeah. and plugged in. Because Tom has been playing Persona 5 Royal on his own on yeah. the Switch. Because <laughs> he just can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love Persona 5 Royal. It's a fantastic game. It's just like, if, for, if you ever want to do your own channel, I, I recommend maybe not doing, like, unedited, you know, video of the day type things, you yeah. know, because we, we've been going on for a while with that one. Been since October, I think? Yeah, and we're at episode 108 or something like that. Something ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it's been fun. It's been great. Um, I really love the game, but, uh... Yeah. A lot of the other people I see on YouTube will, like, either just do highlights, or... Actually, yeah, they, they just do highlights, or they'll, like, do, like, a whole My, you know, Persona 5 Royal experience, and then it's, like, a five-hour video of, like, you know, condensed the whole 120 hours. Yeah, I saw this one girl do it recently, and it was, like, My Persona 5 Royal experience. I think it was, like, five, five or six-hour videos, and I think when she was done, her file was, like... Over 250 hours. Why is it raining now? <laughs> uh, you could probably ascend under there. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this game is fantastic. <laughs> Just like in the wall. Yes. <laughs> oh, he was like on top of that shelf. This game is perfect. <laughs> I like how it's still playing that evil music, even though we freaking decked Phantom Ganon like 10 episodes ago. Yeah. I mean, there is still a bunch of gloom everywhere. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this place has an aura of evil. Mm hmm. Come on, Link, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably nothing. Every time I say that, it makes me think of the Case Closed dub. I don't know if anyone else is as into Case Closed as we are. We freaking love Case Closed. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Great anime. But um, in Season 2 of the English dub, it might be Season 1 of the Japanese, um, but Richard has a class reunion, and he's suspicious of one of his classmates at one point, and they're all, like, interrogating him, and he goes, It's probably nothing! <laughs> and, like, I just freaking love it. Yeah. Every time I say it's probably nothing, it, like, flashes through my mind. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I don't know where to go. Do you want to just call the episode and we can look it up? Yeah, uh, one more thing I was gonna say. Case Closed is a really, really good show. Only thing about it is it's been running for, like, 30 freaking years. Yeah, it's been on since 1995. It's, like, one <laughs> of the longest-running anime slash shows of all time. I think it's, like, number four or and five. And Jimmy Kudo is still Conan! Yeah, he's <laughs> been freaking, like, seven years old for the past 30 years. <laughs> Rachel would be almost 50 by yeah. now! <laughs> Yeah, no, Richard I... would be dead oh, most no. likely. Oh, not dead. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's an alcoholic, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely recommend Case Closed. Check it out. The dub is pretty good, although they made it... They, like, Americanized it. But they kept the music, so that's good. Yeah. They just, you know, they were like, oh, her name isn't Ron, it's Rachel. It's, you know, it's not Maury, it's Detective Moore. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But it's an amazing show. If you can find it in Japanese, it's, like, even better. And also, it, like, it's started in the 90s so it has stuff of that time and now it's you know present day so it has stuff of you know today now mm -hmm. like it, it it's really interesting and i i don't know i really love that show yeah it's right. really good yeah check it out <laughs> <laughs> but i hope you guys will join us next time have a good one Bye bye, bye, -bye.